every time I come out of my house, I feel like a zombie. I feel like I have some part of a different kind of world, but I feel like I'm a Jamaica. This is the feeling expressed by most of my family members as closed gates, businesses, and empty streets is now the new normal following the government's announcement of a 6 p.m. curfew each day due to COVID-19. My sister who resides in Bull Bay, where the first COVID-19 case was confirmed, has been taking these measures very seriously long before the announcement. I have been quarantined a week before the government asked us to go under quarantine. Because I'm scared. I'm really, really scared. Small and large business operators are also impacted, causing a loss of income. Operating taxi for many years now. I me to sell my picnic them go to school, put food on my table and pay my bills. For the inception of the Canora virus, John was time and I lie. No money now I make. That's time me have my little restaurant business now and it's like since the corona coming in, like everything just gets slow, slow, slow. Like Schools are shut down and teaching is on a go slow as teachers, students, and parents are slowly adopting to the new norm of working from home. Yes, it is very difficult as an educator staying home doing work online for the Ministry of Education and also my students. You know, as an, edu as an educator, it is, it is practice for us socialize with our students socialization is a part of of our, our upbringing in the education system however in this serious pandemic it is paramount for you to understand that social distance is, is important however not everyone will be working from home as doctors and other essential workers are exempt from the quarantine and curfew measures i had the opportunity to speak with my family doctor who says this is not the best feeling but he's doing what's best in the country's interest despite the additional stress due to the rise in COVID-19 cases. Being an essential worker and having to deal with an increase in the number of cases at hospitals, this increases our working hours which causes more fatigue and this, are, this causes more stress on an already stressful schedule. However, with the recent high increase in job loss and unemployment, he says he's grateful. For us it's a little different. So, whereas a lot of persons might be losing their jobs or getting laid off, we actually still get to go to work. My family and I occasionally meet for a game of dominoes just to ease our minds from this COVID crisis. But my sister says, It's not that bad, it's not that hard, because what I, I do, I try to find stuff, I try to do stuff to motivate myself sometimes. I do exercises, I cook, I plant stuff, I made a little small garden around the back and plant stuff and um, geez, when it comes to cleaning, I clean like, I clean every day. While the world awaits a vaccine and the number of COVID-19 cases continue to rise, the health minister is advising that persons continue to prevent the spread of this disease by washing your hands with soap and water, wear your mask when going out in public, avoid touching your face, and practice social and physical distancing. So try and adhere to these protocols that you're performing because this is the only way really that you're going to stem or to cut down or reduce the spread of COVID-19. Natasha Williams, Karma News.